What's up my pilots, Angry Poncho here. Welcome back to Minecraft. In this episode, we're going to the Nether. For some reason, the guy who created this map gave 12 obsidian. So I'm gonna make a three by three portal. You see, cause the minimum you need for a portal is 10, but you can't really do anything with two obsidian. You need, um, Four to make a, an enchanting table. And you need, I think, well, I'm not sure how many to actually make it into like other blocks. Oof. All right. So I'm just going to use all 12 on the portal because we're going to end up picking them all up with our pick later anyway. <laughs> I also used one of our remaining pieces of iron that we took from the pillar. We've taken about a dozen or so, so far, to make a flint and steel, just because it seems simpler than trying to make a fancy uh, burning setup to light this. <laughs> like it's a super flat world. All right, let's take a peek, shall we? Okay, first things first, we have a pillar of ancient debris and nether bricks. And then it looks like behind us, there's a pillar of quartz, netherrack, soul sand, and glowstone. Okay. I don't even know if you can mine ancient debris with an iron pick, so let's try that first. And obviously the nether is also entirely empty. Hmm. I'm I'm gonna take that to mean that I cannot mine it. I think it takes I think it takes more than those noises to do it. So let's step up here. All right, we can at least mine this pillar. So let's, uh, let's just make a horrendously ugly staircase in the middle, shall we? So up to here, so we're one block in. And then we'll go, we'll just do an ugly spiral, how about that? So the way this goes is you just mine the three blocks in front of you, hop up, turn to the left, mine the three blocks in front of you, hop up, turn to the left, rinse and repeat. So that's the added benefit of us not having to climb the outside of the tower. Hey, there's the, um, there's the chest. Let's see what we got. Blaze eggs! Oh gosh, okay. Right, I forgot about that. So I guess that means... Oh, man. If we want to fight... Oh, there's another chest on top of that one. And a space in between there and the glowstone. Okay. So I suppose that means if we want to go to the end, we have to spawn those blazes and fight them for their end rods, or whatever they're called, the blaze rods that we use to make the eyes of Ender. I'm just gonna go straight down through all of these. So I'm pretty sure that the mining straight down technique is a good way to not um, lose any of the blocks. You know what just occurred to me? We can mine the four corner blocks of this pillar to get four more obsidian before we go back through and break the other one. So we'll actually end up with enough obsidian to make a crafting table without having to destroy our portal. Oh, that's sick. Not a crafting table, an enchanting table. Still, that's a, I'm glad I thought of that. <laughs> Those corner pieces are not structural. Okay, that's all the nether brick collected. I'm gonna drop back in the overworld and put this stuff away and then come back through to get the other pillar. 
Yeah, with exactly two stacks. I don't think we dropped any, so that's a good sign. All right, screw it. I'm tired of waiting for diamond tools. I'm going to go down to where I have access to the middle of this pillar and just drill down through the center. <laughs> Tell them resource conscience, because I've got all three of these on my hotbar. So I only use whichever one is the most, like, necessary. Okay, so I think with the nether, with that in hand, we can leave the rest of this to cook. Well, let's go back to the nether and mine ourselves up some ancient debris, huh? My understanding is that ancient debris is what you use to make netherite equipment, but I'm not fully, I don't fully understand the process. I think there might even be an item missing from this world. Well, this is how you get it. Yeah. Cool. Because I think you need like a crafting template in order to actually use it. I guess I should do this the same way. I did put... Oh, there's netherrack underneath. Dude, I thought it was bedrock under there. Oh, with netherrack underneath, I'm going to fall straight through if I do the mining down thing. I'm just going to have to hope I don't lose any and walk around and get them like this. There ain't, there's no way I'm mining straight down over netherrack. One block of netherrack between me and the void? Hell no. Alright, 31. We lost one into the void, but I'm not too sussed up about it, to be honest. Again, I think in this world it might just be a fancy building block because we don't have the appropriate, like, pattern or whatever it is to use it for um, crafting tools. It's just the world's most bougie building block. Okay, now this is quartz quartz, so I'm pretty sure. Check your recipe book. Yes, I will. I can make diorite? Huh. I didn't know that. Okay. What else can you do with quartz? You can make quartz pillars, block of quartz, quartz bricks. Chiseled quartz. Can you... <laughs> There's just no way to turn quartz back into... Yeah, whatever. Alright, I'm going to do an upward staircase in this one as well. Alright, what have we got in this chest? Oh, okay. Red mushroom, brown mushroom, pumpkin seeds, melon seeds, nether wart. Alright. Well, it looks like potions are a possibility. If we have nether wart and soul sand to grow it on. That's something. Uh, glowstone. I'm gonna have to make a big catch pillar, aren't I? Because otherwise this shit's just gonna go flying everywhere. All right. So this is what we're leaving the nether. Basically nothing there. Nothing there either. Let's get out of here. Oh wait, there's one other thing I have to do first. Gotta pick up these four corner blocks. I didn't realize that going to the nether was gonna give us four free obsidian. That's kind of a nice bonus, I really gotta say. Because it means we get to leave our portal intact while we make our enchanting table. That's pretty slick. Of course, I don't know what value the portal has, since we're really never going to want to come back here. There's just no reason for us to uh, come back here for the nether rack, you know? Alright, let's get out of here. Ah, home sweet home. Got glowstone dust, nether rack, obsidian. It's looking pretty sweet. We're still gonna have to find a book if we want to make an enchantment table, but this is a this is a darn good start. Let's check out the hall, shall we? So we got four nether wart, four melon seeds, four red and brown mushrooms, four pumpkin seeds, 
Stack and a quarter of nether quartz, stack and a half of glowstone dust, four obsidian, 16 soul sand, stack another rack, half stack of ancient debris, two stacks of nether bricks. It's not bad. I gotta figure out what it takes to grow nether wart. I don't think it's complicated. I don't really know. Brown and red mushrooms I know need um, a low light level to grow. Hmm. Pumpkin and melon seeds are fine, I guess. It's just another food source. Of course, with melons and pumpkins, I guess because there's one more thing to trade with the villagers. I don't know what good nether quartz is for, or glowstone dust. I think in potions, maybe. And obviously, you can use it to make glowstone lights. The four obsidian is the real haul here. Let's put our useful tools back in our valuables chest. <sighs> and breathe a sigh of relief. We made it to the nether without falling in a pit. That was uh, slightly stressful. So now the question becomes, can we get paper? So we have not had sugar cane, right? No, we have cacti, but not sugar cane. And I've not seen a sugar cane trade on any of the villagers. All right, I'm going to look it up. Oh, you know what? We probably have to get the wandering trader to show up if we want to buy sugarcane. Because I know he sells it sometimes. Honestly, I'm not too worried about it. I think, I think at this point I could kind of just skip enchanting. I don't know. I would love to have some, f some feather fall boots. Right now I've got an eye on the dragon. So I'm thinking, how do we beat the ender dragon? Because that's like a fitting way to wrap up this world. I gotta be honest, I'm eager to move on to the next one and really like invest in villagers and buildings and make a world that's gonna be more permanent than this little four pillar adventure I wanted to do here. I already feel like I've accomplished most of my goals for this one. So let's see, if we're not gonna be able to enchant anything, the ender dragon fight's gonna be kind of a pain because getting flung around is gonna result in us dying a lot, I think. Unless I can do some MLG bucket strats. I wanna look online and see if there's a villager that will trade you paper or books or sugar cane that we can get at a novice level or at least like trade up to without having to use one of those things in order to make their employment table. We'll be right back. Yep, apparently my knowledge of super flat videos has allowed me to have a brain fart or a brainstorm perhaps. Without sugar cane in this world, there's no way to get books. There is no villager that sells paper books or sugar cane without having to use a book in order to make their place. If we were on a super flat world where we generated structures, we could go out and find a village and find bookshelves there and steal books from them. But uh, we are obviously not in that world. This world is a, is a void forever and ever and ever, and there are no structures. So uh, I guess what that means is there's no way to do enchanting, which stinks. Maybe we can level up a villager high enough to... Uh, to sell us like enchanted stuff but honestly i don't know i'm not sure it's uh worth the time to be honest fighting the ender dragon is kind of kind of sucks <laughs> it's not like a very fun or satisfying boss so i'm not super motivated to spend like 10 hours of my life grinding to get a villager up to high level in order to uh get the uh the stuff we need all right here's the answer we're going to go for it, and we're going to go for it in this video. I'm going to go mine the rest of the resource pillar, get a bunch of diamonds and shit, and uh, make a full diamond armor, diamond sword. I'll uh, get that bow and see. I got, We have tons of arrows. So we're set there. Get some food, some water buckets, and uh, see what we can do. I'm pretty sure you can beat the ender dragon just naked with a stack of beds. So... Uh, <laughs> Hopefully I can do it in a more conventional way if I'm uh, kitted out. This ain't a hardcore world. 
If we die, we can still come back and look around. All right, I've got a diamond sword and diamond armor. I figured that's a good start. And I also figured out a slightly more efficient way to farm the Endermen. So rather than waiting for them to fall down that long drop that I had made, I just closed off the hole in the floor. And all we have to do to make Endermen spawn is turn out the lights. And then we can stand underneath this two block high slab platform over here, piss off the Endermen, and chop away at their ankles. We get experience and uh, hopefully an Ender Pearl or two. We have nine right now, so we need a few more. I don't know if having this here will make more pop in. Yeah, look at that. Oh, look at that, you can still get a critical hit, even when you're under a two block high ceiling if you're an MLG gamer pro like me. MLG gamer, ATM machine? Nice. Those will be enough eyes of Ender, I think. Oh, hello, sir. Come down here. I have to make sure to leave this thing lit up because it's going to be an absolute nightmare if I have Endermen popping up all over the place, scaring my villagers and stealing my blocks. Boom. All right, now it should chill. Okay, the other thing we need to do is hunt, is fight blazes, so... You know, I may just do that down there, too. Let's look at the blaze eggs. Or do I want to fight them somewhere that has a lower ceiling so that they can't fly up? Yeah, you know, that sounds smarter. Let's do that. So let's go... Uh, oh my goodness. Let's... Uh, let's uh, go mine more cobblestone. Okay, I'm going to turn this Enderman spawner room into a blaze battle room as well. So let's first off properly, <laughs> yeah, that's why, properly cover the floor. There we go. And then we'll put these slabs up at a height where blazes can still fly a little bit, but not all that much. I also still wanna have headroom so I can do full jumps to make getting critical hits easier. Mm -hmm. And yes, I do intend to fight them with my sword. Don't know if that's the best decision, but that's where we're at. Okay, those spaces have torches in them. I'm gonna leave them because I don't want Endermen to start spawning. This should give us enough to cover most of this room. If I can keep the Endermen on, or the Blazes over there, we should be fine. So let's do that, shall we? All right, let's see how this goes. Nice. He didn't give us anything, though, so try again. Nothing from him, either. Yep, he's hostile. Probably should have put uh, a bucket of water in my inventory for this. I think I'll be all right. Just gotta keep eating. I haven't gotten any blaze rod drops. They're supposed to drop between zero and two. Also, let me turn the hostile creatures back on so we get a more authentic experience here. Do blazes spawn from spawn eggs not produce? They do produce blaze rods. I'm just unlucky. There we go. All right. We're also tinking our armor a little bit, but that's okay. Yeah, we only need six blaze rods in the end. So I think even if we get abysmally unlucky, we should be okay. Hmm. 
See, because I thought that the expected drop rate was like one per blaze, but... Are they like dropping up there or something? I would see them, you know? Huh. Oh, they're not spawning outside. That doesn't seem like how drops would work, so I, I kind of doubt it. Alright, I'm gonna keep spawning them on the ground just to be sure. <laughs> Absolutely assassinating these guys. Oh, kind of feels like bullying. Whoa! Except for the fact that if I let them hang out too long, I might die. Yeah, see, that guy was right in the corner, and he didn't uh, drop his blaze rod outside, so... I'm not sure anybody will. We got four. I'd love to get a couple more and just call this done. There's five. Nice. Okay, there's six. Let's do one more. Okay, we got seven. Awesome. We get to keep four blaze eggs for later. As a little as a little treat for ourselves, I guess. <laughs> Don't know what I would ever do with them, but Okay. So we've got enough eyes or enough ender pearls and blaze powder to make enough eyes to fill the portal, so let's do that shit, huh? Give me these. Boom. Twelve of those. Put away the extra valuables. Alright, as near as I can recall, this is about what you need for a dragon fight. Got two buckets of water to help myself from uh, dying from great heights. I've got some food. I made golden carrots with the gold we got. A stack of torches, some blocks to make pillars and bridges with. I got a pickaxe to mine my way up and down quickly with these. I brought a crossbow and a bow. I've never really used the crossbow before. I just tried it out and yeah, we'll see. It's a little bit stronger and more accurate than the bow, so I'm going to give that a shot first. If I don't like it, I can just switch to the bow. Ten stacks of arrows, diamond sword, diamond gear. Oh, should I make a shield? I don't even know how to use a shield. Eh, yeah, forget it. No shields. Let's just go ham, huh? All right. Uh, all right, let's go down to the portal, shall we? This is exciting. This will be the first time I fought the Ender Dragon in like years. I'm only slightly nervous. It's not a hardcore world, but still. Huh? Yep, that's all of them. What the fuck? I must have built it wrong. <laughs> Hang on. Huh. So it turns out end frames need to face inward in order to work, so... I don't know how I placed these, but clearly it was wrong. So let's fix that. Okay, and then you need eyes of ender to make these fill in. Okay. Yep, that'll do it. <laughs> Damn. It gives off light, too. It suddenly got brighter down here. Fucking spooky, dude. Oh, I love it. Am I ready? I'm ready. Let's do it. All right. Well, oh, we have the pillar so far. I'm going to do I'm gonna do a staircase. Because we think we can get there sooner if I go up a bit here. Hopefully the dragon doesn't fly over here and end my life. 
Okay, we're good. Now, I know I could have worn a pumpkin, but I honestly... I'm not doing that shit. I can't, I can't... You can't see, dude. Oh, wow, that's... They gave him some new sounds. How do you... No, too low. There's one. <laughs> Alright, I think... I guess I'll start with the low-hanging fruit. And then get the big ones later. Oh, pardon me, sir. I didn't look at you. You just walked in front of me, that's all. Alright, maybe I can use the bow for these since, uh... I don't actually need the extra power. Oh, fuck off, dragon. Oh, he's, he, she's spitting. She's spitting fire at us. Oh, and we're perching. Okay, that's fine. You do that. Ah, ah. I'm good. I was, I was crouching down. A little higher. A little bit more to the right. I just hit the dragon. Actually, no. Oh, excuse me. Gotta move. Oh shit. I've pissed off Enderman. This is bad. Bro. Bro. You gotta stop, dude. Ugh. How many fucking hits does it take to kill an Enderman with a diamond sword, dude? Oh, I'm pissed. I'm going straight back. <laughs> I'm gonna run over there and put my shit on again immediately. Oh, no. I can only look down in shame. This is making me want to bring a bunch of beds with me <laughs> to show back up naked with a bunch of beds. <laughs> like, oh, you thought you, you thought you had me, huh? I got nine lives. And I'm back, motherfucker. Okay. Now I think the progress we made should still be there. I don't think that the end stuff regenerates. Hopefully those Endermen aren't pissed at me. Where's my stuff? There's my stuff. Oh, excuse you. I'm oh, I'm dead. <laughs> Son of a bitch! Next to it. It's because that it disappears when you fill the space, bro. I remember now. Blocks placed within the the, the zone there get deleted when someone portals in, so there's always room. Hoppity hoppity. Okay. Oh, she's mad. She knows we're here. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna crouch and try and make something happen here. Oh, pardon me, man. Sorry. My bad. My bad. That's, you're good. That one's on me. Yeah. Is that one a little too tall? Gotta draw the bow in like all the way. There we go. Just ah. Enderman are pissed, but not at me. Good. Oh, I thought I had that a little bit higher. Yeah, I love getting one when you're when the dragon's using it, and you get that free extra hit. Jeez. Oh, hello. My no, no don't mind me. Did I look at that guy? No, he's just running around because he's excited. Is there still one up here? On top of this one? Yeah, it looks like it. Alright, I think... 
think I've gotten all of them except for these two. So I gotta get up there. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Oh, the, uh, that guy's pissed, but I think he's pissed at the dragon, which is kind of hilarious. Alright, we're going up. This is when the bucket strats come into play. We get thrown. I have to try and save it at the last second. I should have used a bucket. Oh, there's an ender pearl down there. I should have used a, my bucket to keep the enderman off me when I was in danger last time. That's my bad. Okay, and I don't see any others. I'm pretty sure this will fucking kill me if I... Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I did it. I used my bucket. <laughs> Honestly, I was more concerned with my being able to actually get to the bucket because my scroll wheel on this mouse is so fucking terrible that I fucked up the timing. Did I touch the like slightly higher ground? Hello, baby. Did I touch the slightly higher ground to the left? Is that what happened? I don't know. Don't mind me just organizing my inventory. Trying not to look at Ender. Right, right. She's done or doing her regenerating thing, I think. So get fuck you. Trying to. Oh, she's flying around pissing everybody off, man. Alright, okay. Let's try the crossbow to start, eh? She juked me. Well, that did some damage. You can tell I haven't used a crossbow much, so I think that was the first time I... Ah. Alright, so I think you can, like, get in here. Yeah. So this is how we do it. Just wait for her to perch. Right. Th th Theo Theodore. Theodore, I love you, buddy, but now is not a good time. Can we, okay. Can we, can we look back on this love? Okay. Oh. Oh. I think I might have looked at that guy, but he was already pissed at the Ender Dragon, so he didn't care about me. Honestly, I would love it if she perched again. Looks like she is. Uh, uh. Yeah, this is how we do it. Whoa! Oh, I think I did it that time. I think I actually did it. I gotta hit it at least once, right? <laughs> Endermen down there are suffering. I think the Ender Dragon would be like their matron and would care. But apparently not. Oh god. Did I look at an Enderman? No. Okay, we're good. Also, why did you spit your AoE 40 feet in the air? I am not 40 feet in the air. I like this crossbow. Are we perching? I think we're perching. Just want to try and come in behind. Sneak in here. I can't I see the dragon? Am I like clipping into the dragon? Well, I think I found the head. Oh, the health bar keeps going down. Oh, shit. Shit. See what I mean about the scroll wheel? I can't fucking, um, I can't fucking control that thing. It, um, yeah. you probably noticed it in this Let's Play that sometimes I'll scroll down to something, and then my scroll wheel will jump back a space. Yeah, you can see it doing it there. It's super annoying. I actually took my mouse apart today to clean it, 
in hopes that like there was just like a hair in front of the laser or something, but it's an actual physical connection and it's just a crappily made mouse, so I have to buy another a new mouse. To be fair, I probably could have just hit the button, but eh. I don't have a uh, muscle memory for where like five, six, seven is on my keyboard. I use a numpad. And I'm sure not taking my hand off of my mouse in order to uh, do it. Where did I land? It was way out in the middle of nowhere, I know that. Where's my stuff, dude? This is a big dimension, yo. It's actually kind of weird after playing for so long in that empty void that we were in to have this much space to like look around and see platforms and stuff. All right, where is my stuff? There it is. <laughs> Did I like walk past it? There's another platform over there. Oh no, that's... Grab this, grab this, grab this. Fight's almost over now. A little anticlimactic, but I'm still gonna put my pants back on. Damn, she was, she was going after us the whole time while we were running away, too. Maybe I should have the, um, I have no weapon. There we go. See what I mean? I'm struggling to get to the crossbow right now. There. Get I gotta get a new mouse. That's almost too that. We're perching. We're perching. Yeah. That was all it took. Very nice. Cool. Grab the experience, why not? And now there's like weird frame things out there, right? Yeah, ooh, spooky. I don't know how that stuff works. But yeah, that's uh, that's that. We beat the Ender Dragon. Obviously it's not hardcore, so we kind of whittled it down over time there, but hey, it still counts. Got that achievement, didn't we? I don't even remember how you're supposed to get this egg, like push it with a piston or something. I know it breaks if you try and pick it up. Yeah, I'm not that sus up about it, to be honest. Let's just beat the game, eh? Has this ch this weird cutscene at the end changed since full release, or is it still just like... Can I speed it up? Yeah, here we go. Zoom. Oh, yeah. No, it's the same cringe-worthy cutscene. All right. Well, we beat the Ender Dragon on Four Pillar Survival. And it was uh, probably the worst showing of my uh, combat performance you've ever seen. But still, it's the advantage of having multiple lives. <laughs> I did get the water bucket save one time. I want credit for that. No, You can't flame me in the comments without also giving me a little bit of credit for the one time I did do it. Anyway, also, look at this fucking scroll wheel, dude. It doesn't know where it's going. Thank you guys so much for watching. I think in the next Minecraft series, I'm just going to move on to a, a normal world-generated world. Regular old Minecraft world, where I can go and explore all the different new biomes, all the new structures, monuments and mansions and raids and more villager trading and more resources and making redstone stuff. It's going to be an awesome, awesome series. It'll be essentially the spiritual sequel to Angry Poncho's World of Minecraft because I'm going to be discovering... All this new stuff again for the first time learning all these new recipes and things that i haven't seen before and uh it's gonna be a blast uh, i'm excited about it so thank you all so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this series i don't think i'll be putting the world up for download because there's better skyblock maps you can download i recommend skyblock infinite i just wanted to redo this four pillars idea because i enjoyed it so much the first time around so thank you all once again for watching and I'll see you in the next episode of Angry Poncho Plays Minecraft.